quick sun and moon information or speculation before June 2nd comes out. Let's do this. Pokemon! 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 Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Winslow, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sun and Moon discussion. Today we're going to talk about some of the information that was revealed, or, well, not revealed, but there were some leaks that we need to discuss, and there was a new Pokemon revealed that I've been neglecting, and of course there is information happening on June 2nd, in regards to Pokemon Sun and Moon. So let's of course jump right into this particular video. I'm going to try and make this as short as possible because I have another video to make but I want to discuss everything that I possibly think could happen in regards to everything what we have and so of course let's jump right into this. So first off I would like to give credit to whoever found out about this or whatever but I don't know who originally created. The best I can do is say I semi saw Tyranitar Tube's video on this particular one, but he wasn't the first person that I saw this information, so I can't give credit to the first person, but I think Tyranitar Tube in his particular video credited the first person who actually found out this information. But in regards to the potential final starter evolution types, now according to information that was leaked or information that was found out, and doing some information in regards to this particular website of Pokemon Sun and Moon, what we had here was types. If we go into like the inspect element, which I'm not really going to do or show because that would be complicated and my editing software has problems now with editing videos now for some odd reason in regards to the audio sync until after I render it or whatever so I'm not really gonna do that but apparently there were other images in regards to the Pokemon starters apparently in regards to the final evolution so basically what it was saying is Rowlet's going to be a grass flying obviously Litten is going to evolve into a fire ground Pokemon and then of course Popplio is going to be a water fighting Pokemon now I don't necessarily think that means anything. Uh, I personally have thought about this over the, the times and I've been thinking about it. And I kind of have a problem with the speculation that that's what it's going to be. What I have a problem is that the Japanese would actually create a placeholder for Pokemon that probably aren't going to be revealed for a while. I feel like there's going to be a lot other Pokemon revealed before the starter evolutions. Now, I could be wrong, and maybe that's what June 2nd will be about, but I'm just saying I think it's very odd that Litten would evolve into Fire Ground. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense, because if Litten is based off of a volcano, a volcano would semi make sense to be a Fire Ground Pokemon, because a volcano is an Earth formation, so it kind of would make a little bit of sense for a fired ground evolution. I just don't think that Litten's design at the moment really would indicate that it would become a fired ground, and I'm not really sure I'm looking forward to a potential volcano tiger looking Pokemon afterwards. I mean, it would look kind of cool, but I was really hoping for a fire dark Pokemon. Water fighting for Populeo's final evolution is fine, Although, I guess it would be good because we now have firefighting starters, a grass fighting starter, and now a water fighting starter. So there is that. But one thing that I'm a little hesitant about this is that I feel like it wouldn't make any sense to put the placeholders of those evolution types if they weren't going to reveal the starter evolutions. Now maybe the dual maybe the second middle stage starter will get that type. So maybe Litten's first evolution will gain that ground typing as well as Popplio's first evolution. And so maybe the final evolution will be different. I don't know if they would ever do that. Like have basic single starter type 
dual starter type and then a different dual starter type at the end of the evolutionary line. I'm not sure they would do that, but like I said, I'm not sure that they would put these placeholders in if they were going to reveal other Pokemon, which is why I'm thinking that maybe those particular types in the actual site may indicate that we will get a otherwise ground or otherwise fighting Pokemon revealed later on, June 2nd or whatever it is. So th so it could be confirmed, or it, the leak could be confirmed, or <laughs> it could be that Litten will evolve into Fire Ground. I have issues with that, but ultimately I guess I'll be fine with it, especially since it probably is going to be based off of the Volcano. But I'm not really sure I wanted a Camerupt type Pokemon for a starter, not that there's anything wrong with that. I guess after Torterra, maybe we and and Swampert. I guess it's about time we get an actual fire ground. You know, we have a grass ground and a water ground. Maybe they're, that's what they're doing and giving us a fire ground to make up for all those other Pokemon that we've had as starters. So maybe that's it. But still not entirely that happy about it, but it's whatever. You know, that's just my opinion. So anyway, moving on, there is this screen cap that hopefully I'll be able to get. I'll definitely try and find it if I have to look up the Koro Koro video and copy it and screen cap it. I will, like I do for the preview for TV Tokyo in regards to my Pokemon anime videos, you'll definitely see it. What we see in this particular video here, uh, image right here, is of course a fox dog type Pokemon that is not, doesn't match any Pokemon. It's not Lillipup, it's not Eevee. Basically, uh, it, it is a Pokemon that is very interesting. I I don't know if it's going to be like Eevee, though, or like Lillipup and Pokemon like that, where it's going to be a normal type. It does look like a normal type, but I'm a little hesitant and thinking that maybe it could just be a ground type, which is why I'm not entirely sure on the fire ground typing for Litten's final evolution. It kind of does look like it could be revealed on June 2nd or in the next Koro Koro or whatever the information or whatever the case is going to be that it could be revealed relatively soon and I'm, I definitely don't want like Furfu or Eevee or Lillipup or whatever I don't necessarily think we need a fox dog that's just going to be a normal type I would prefer something like Leo or, or Pyroar being a normal fire type or whatever so maybe it'll be a normal ground type or a normal fighting type or whatever at the very least i just don't want it to just be a normal type not saying they can't add normal types to the games that's not what i'm saying i'm just saying that maybe stay away from the normal types in regards to certain types of mammals we've had quite a few dogs and fox like characters that are normal types or whatever maybe be a little <laughs> generous with the typings here in regards to those particular animal species. So outside of that, there's really nothing else I want to discuss outside of what could be airing on June 2nd. Now there is going to be like a video or announcement revealing some information in regards to Pokemon Sun and Moon on June 2nd. This could range from Solgaleo and Lunala being officially announced in regards to their names and typings this could be silhouettes of what could air what could it leak in Koro Koro or the following months or whatever this could be just maybe a gym leader exposition or talking about the games in of itself or we could just get brand new pokemon in general i don't know if we ever got a trailer that revealed other pokemon like I don't know if there was a video in 5th gen where it's like, here's Sandile, but, you know, Makaroko or whatever Sandile's Japanese name is. So I don't know if they're going to reveal even more Pokemon and discuss it and reveal the typings, or they're just going to show these Pokemon, and then you get to guess what these Pokemon are going to be. I don't know what it's going to be, but I definitely expect a little bit of information. We already have a release date, we already have a trailer, and if this is definitely going to be new information, I do expect something new to show up, whether it's new characters, 
um, a city name or a town name, or maybe that the Alola region isn't just that particular island. Speaking of which, there has been speculation in regards to the Alola region that the island, that giant island that we got that has that huge city or whatever that we saw in the first trailer, if you saw my, my review of the Alola region or whatever, and how I said it looked kind of small, even though within the games it does look like it's going to be a big one, it, there seems to be some implication that there yet yeah, you can go to other islands. So definitely look forward to that in regards to that. So hopefully we can go to other islands and extend the region. So maybe only a couple of gyms will be in the Alola map that we initially saw. But there will be these other islands as well with other various gym battles and stuff or whatever and maybe that's where we can get like ice pokemon maybe in the alola region there's a very specific cave or island that's completely snowed over i don't necessarily think we'll get a ice type gym leader but again because we've had like what three of them in a row we've had candace <laughs> Bryson or Bryce I think it was just Bryce and then of course we have Wolfric so I, I think maybe we'll get like an island maybe we'll get like an ice legendary which would be really cool and maybe that's what the island will be about and maybe that's where you can get a lot of the new ice Pokemon because it does kind of seem like ice Pokemon is going to be very limited in regards to the Alola region because it is the Alola region, and it's the tropical region, so it wouldn't quite make sense for there to be an, a lot of ice Pokemon in comparison to other types, but at the, at the very least, I, it would be nice to actually see what's happening here in regards to this. In, you know, it, maybe there will be an island full of ice and snow or whatever. Maybe there will be a gym leader, but maybe it'll be a different type or whatever but at the very least there has to be some sort of cave or some sort of explanation why there would be ice pokemon and hopefully there are ice pokemon we didn't we haven't really got much ice pokemon lately or whatever we had some fairly cool ones but we haven't got a lot so it'd be very nice if we got some speaking of which i know this is a little too early but speaking of 8th generation, I would like it if there was actually a region that was primarily snowy and we had all of these ice Pokemon. That would be kind of cool. But anyway, <laughs> so that's what it could be. I, I really don't know what else there could be in regards to the information. There is still Korokoro. Koro. I still think Korokoro Koro may very well reveal a lot of information. So if we do get new Pokemon... Hopefully, they'll just be gameplay photos so we can have like a few weeks or a couple of days before Pokemon Sun and Moon come out in regards to Koro Koro. Pokemon Sun and Moon, the, the games come out early just because, you know, <laughs> but po Pokemon Koro Koro. So maybe we'll get like the Fox Dog Pokemon in the trailer showing up and being like, hey, here's this particular Pokemon. What is it? What its type? And will be officially revealed in Korokoro. Core. It'd be really nice if that actually happened. Speaking of which, <laughs> I, I'm really confused as to Korokoro's relationship with Nintendo is right now in regards to revealing all this information in regards to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Are they in cahoots with each other? I mean... Are they going to reveal a little bit of information in this June 2nd video that's going to be further explained later on in, of course, Koro Koro? Or are they going to be completely different? We're going to get a lot of information in regards to June 2nd video, but then we're going to get a tons more information in regards to Koro Koro later on. It'll, it'll definitely depend. I don't know what there's going to be, but I really hope that whether it's the June 2nd video or Koro Koro, that we get more brand new Pokemon. Whether it's the Fire Fox Pokemon, the Bird Pokemon, Fire Fox, the, the Fox Dog Pokemon that we see, that we saw, or the Wire Mesh of that Bird Woodpecker Pokemon. As long as we get that, as well as other interesting Pokemon that we'll see that'll have unique types, 
maybe there could be an early route dragon type. That would be really cool. Have this little tiny little dragon type or whatever they can count in the early routes that take it a while to evolve. You know, like it evolves at level 20, evolves into its middle stage. And if it has a third stage, maybe it can evolve at level 40 or something. You know, that would be kind of cool to have something like that. And it could be like maybe its fully evolved form could be like a 540 Pokemon at the end of its stats or whatever, that would be kind of cool. You know, maybe they'll reveal Mega Evolutions. That would be interesting. Maybe, or maybe they'll be Synchro Greninja. Maybe we'll see Synchro Greninja in any of these particular information. That would all be interesting. So I think that's all I wanted to say. I, I don't know if they're going to reveal any specific gameplay content, as in whether or not we'll get something like Poke App or Poke Itch or something. I think it was Poke Itch. Or whatever. I don't know if they would reveal that. I don't know if they're going to reveal any sort of events of certain Pokemon. I don't know if they're going to have a Victini. They might show off Magirna distribution, kind of similar to Victini, but I don't know if there's going to be its own Pokemon self or whatever. But I'm not really sure. So that's all I wanted to speculate and I wanted to get this over with. After, of course, all the information that we get in regards to June 2nd and Koro Koro, if we get a long gap or whatever, maybe at some point I will do what type of animals I want to see turned into Pokemon, what I would like to see in regards to Pokemon, in regards to the Pokemon itself, in regards to the typings and stuff, and maybe talk about some of the things that I do not want to see in regards to Pokemon, in regards to the Pokemon themselves or whatever. So anyway... I want this video to be short because I have other videos to make and there's really nothing else I can discuss that I can think of at the moment. So look forward to next week when I will talk about what we get in June 2nd and of course Korokoro Koro that reveals whatever. That being said, if Korokoro Koro just doesn't reveal anything at all in regards to Korokoro, Koro, in anything new, then of course I probably will not make a video if there is vitally important new information i'll at least make a five minute short video at least i can hope to make a five minute short video so anyway that's pretty much it i want to say in regards to that so look forward to my june 2nd well it's not going to be uploaded on june 2nd but Look forward to my video on the information that's given on June 2nd in regards to Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, thank you for watching. I'm Dustin Benzel, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.